Hello everyone, welcome to ROAM, a dedicated YouTube channel for robotics and automation. This channel will provide informational, in-depth and professional video tutorials at regular intervals. Please subscribe and visit this channel for updates on robotics and automation. Please comment below with topics of your interest to help you better and contact us with details given below for further information. Happy learning! Robots are complex machines that can sense, actuate and move as programmed. As they automate and emulate actions of physical work, multiple engineering systems come together to build them. Broadly, the basic building blocks of robotics and automation can be grouped under three categories. Robot structure. The robot structure is basically the form of robot and its mechanisms that are powered by drives to perform an intended function with the use of end effectors to interact with the job environment. Electronics and electrical hardware, also known as the hardware, essentially drives the robot structure. The hardware transforms the mechanics of a robot into electrical domain and enables software and programming to drive the robot functionality. The hardware in a way becomes the interface through which the external world, including human beings, interact with the robots. Software and programming are the software is the brain behind a robot. Without the software, the robot will not function or not function as intended and can lead to hazards. Software programming gives the users an easy way of configuring, deploying and programming a robot to function in various roles. Having touched upon the basic building blocks, in this video, we look into and understand the various aspects of the hardware, the components and concepts and their relation to robotics. The hardware in essence is a microcontroller or processor based system with connectors and wiring harness to connect different subsystems. Hardware drives actuators while reading the inputs from sensors that transform physical world entities or signals into electrical domain for ease of processing. The hardware allows human beings to interact with robot through a well-defined and user-friendly system known as user interface. So at a high level, hardware constitutes of various electronic components which work together to drive a robot's structure. A robot professional needs a good understanding of the concepts behind various electronic systems and components, analog circuits, digital circuits, sensors and transducers, inbuilt and external interfaces, power management, Actuators and motor control logic, communication engineering are the concepts that are used to build robot hardware whereas electronic system design and tools are used to design, manufacture and maintain robots. Analog circuits typically condition or transform continuous electrical signals by employing different electronic techniques. Linear circuits modify the characteristics of signals while maintaining a linear relationship between voltage and current by using resistors capacitors and inductors, also known as passive components. On the other hand, nonlinear circuits alter the relationship between voltage and current by employing active components like diodes, transistors and FETs. Differentiators, integrators, clippers, clampers, amplifiers and oscillators are some of the regularly used analog circuits. Digital circuits bring in the discrete or digital processing capability into electronics and enable processing of signals to happen in microcontrollers, processors, PLDs, FPGAs or ASICs. While analog circuits provide the capability to process continuous signals, the digital circuits operate on discrete signals and provide logical functional capability. The process of converting continuous signals to discrete domain is called as analog to digital conversion from simple digital gates and flip-flops to complex FPGAs and microprocessors, digital electronics has made tremendous contributions to modern industries and life in general. There are two types of digital circuits called as combinational logic and sequential logic. Combinational logic's output is determined by the current input values and are time independent. Examples of combinational logic include logical gates, encoders, decoders, adders, subtractors, multiplexers, and demultiplexers. On the other hand, sequential logic depends on past input values and are time dependent and typically have clock input. Flip-flops, shift registers, counters, memories are some examples of sequential logic. Sequential logic circuits can be further classified as synchronous and asynchronous circuits. Synchronous circuits are a type of sequential circuits that are driven by clock signal, 
In essence, the change in output is accompanied by the change in clock. Asynchronous circuits are a type of sequential circuits that are driven by events and the start and end of data transfer is indicated by a certain pattern or signal and clock is either extracted from data or there is a prior agreement between transmitter and receiver. Control systems are employed for controlling simple to complex robots using open or closed loop systems which involves reading sensors and driving actuators. Transducers and sensors enable the conversion of physical signals to electrical domain for easy processing, measurement and decision making. Based on the choice of transducer, the interfacing, conditioning, measurement and analysis techniques vary. The typical steps involved are sensing which involves conversion of physical signal to electrical signal, interfacing, signal conditioning and signal analysis techniques. As the electrical signals are weak, they are processed, enhanced and converted to digital values. Measurement where the converted digital values are further processed to derive intelligence out of signal variations which helps the software to make decisions. There are various types of sensors and transducers, temperature, pressure, humidity, light sensors, motion sensors for detecting linear motion, acceleration, angular motion, proximity sensors and special sensors for detecting extremely high temperature, hazardous chemicals and radioactivity. There are many 8-bit, 16-bit and 32-bit controllers which are used to interconnect different subsystems like sensors, actuators, user interface of robots and the communication of robot itself with other systems within the environment where it is employed. To achieve that, various interfaces are used. Inbuilt interfaces are used for communication within the robot, whereas external interfaces are used to interface with external systems. User interfaces like LED, 7 segment and LCD displays, keypad for text or numeric inputs are interfaced using I2C or SPI interface. Actuators like stepper or DC motors are controlled or interfaced using PWM, ADC or GPIO interface. Sensors like accelerometer, gyrometer, pressure, temperature, proximity are interfaced using I2C or SPI interface. Wired communication like RS-232, RS-485, hard, wireless hard, CAN, USB and Ethernet interfaces and wireless communication like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, radio frequency and cellular networks for interacting with external systems. Power management corresponds to the control and conversion of power to drive different electrical and electronic systems and devices. Different systems need different types of power supplies. There are mainly four types of power systems, AC to AC converters that employ voltage and frequency change to handle different power sources, DC to DC converters are used by battery powered systems for deriving operating voltage, AC to DC converters use rectifiers or regulators for converting mains AC to DC, DC to AC converters use inverters for driving AC load using stored DC. Typically robots are powered by batteries or solar cells. However, in industrial robotics, they are powered by the main source of power for the functionality that is being automated. For example, welding robots use the power source of welding. Motor control helps in converting software decisions to transfer of motion and mechanical power to get a specific work done. There is a need for motion and power transfer in different directions and dimensions. Linear motion in X, Y and Z axis and angular motion like pitch, roll and yaw can be achieved by employing motors. There are different types of motors for different kind of applications based on budget, accuracy, precision and range of motion. Brushed and brushless DC motors are used for high torque continuous motion applications. Servo motors are used for high torque continuous motion applications by employing feedback to achieve precision. While stepper motors are used for low torque precise, slow and limited range motion applications. Communication engineering involves transmission and reception of data. Analog communication employs continuously varying signal by modifying a characteristic like amplitude, frequency or phase of the signal to convey the data, while digital communication employs discrete signals which change values at specific intervals of time at a certain rate to convey the data. 
digital signal processing is the process of converting an analog signal to digital and applying digital techniques like filtering to enhance the quality of the signal and ensure that the degradation of the information is avoided due to inherent nature of analog signal and faithful reproduction of the signal when converted back to analog domain. Typically, ADC and DAC are used for converting from analog to digital and vice versa while employing DSP techniques like FFT to transform signals from time to frequency domain. Based on the medium of communication, communication can also be broadly classified as wired and wireless. Wired communication involves the need for transmitter and receiver to be physically connected by a conducting medium while ensuring the signal strength and quality are good enough for faithful reproduction. Wireless communication employs electromagnetic waves by converting electrical signal to radio waves and vice versa. While wireless communication gives the freedom of transmitter and receiver being physically separate and thus saving the cost of connecting medium but brings its own challenges of range and signal quality due to signal strength degradation caused by terrain and obstructions and varying conditions of wireless medium. Signal integrity could also be compromised due to possibility of someone eavesdropping and potentially compromising the security. A trade-off is needed on the choice of medium considering the application, cost and feasibility. Robots and automation systems employ some of the above communication techniques for communication with other systems and human beings. Putting all the electrical and electronic systems together to achieve mass manufacturability brings its own challenges. This is achieved by electronic system design which involves careful selection, design, interconnection and calibration of different electronic systems and components in a compact, reliable and safe enclosure. This also involves testing for functionality, performance, interoperability, robustness and regulatory requirements of different statutory agencies. Hardware design involves digital design and analog design. Digital design involves realization of digital logic and verification using VHDL and Verilog for programmable logic devices and field programmable gate arrays and application specific ICs. PSPICE multi-SIM software is used for analog simulation and verification whereas electronic design automation tools are used for digital design and verification and PCB layout design. For testing of prototypes and manufactured hardware devices, debugging tools are used. For hardware test and measurement tools like multimeter oscilloscopes are used, while for PCB rework tools like soldering and desoldering workstations are used. That brings us to the end of this video. We thank you for visiting this channel and watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to get updates of new videos in your inbox directly. Keep visiting this channel and keep learning.